everyone! Today's video is gonna be another review. I finally read a book I've actually been meaning to read and review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing This Is Where It Ends by Marika Nykamp. Thank you so much to the lovely publisher for sending me a finished edition of this book. It was absolutely beautiful and once again, thanks. This book follows four different students that all go to the same high school and the book takes place over 54 minutes of time and within that time there's an active shooter in their school. So it talks about these four people, how their lives interconnect with the shooter and obviously the aftermath of that tragedy and it just follows those 54 minutes where the shooter is armed inside the school and they had to make quick decisions to see who lives, who dies, who tells your story. Not a good time for Hamilton references. <laughs> I gave this book three stars. The main thing I take away from this book is that it's not the most excellent book out there. Like it was gripping, but I think the plot is half of what makes it good. I just think it's an interesting subject matter since it doesn't exist very much. I know there's I've only heard of one other book about a school shooting and I have not read that one yet. So this is my first school shooting book. I will say it is so super intense. I knew it would be a hard subject matter, I knew it's sensitive material, but I did not know going into it that I would just like feel such fear as I'm reading it. I was recommended this by someone who said they were sobbing the entire book. I didn't feel that way. I was definitely affected by it, like it was heart-wrenching and like it made you anxious and the entire thing happening like right before you is really intense. I would never wish that upon anyone, but I did not feel like I was connected to the characters and I didn't feel like I really understood the shooter. It's more of a plot based story than a character based story. I think if this book would have followed one character throughout the entire thing you could have more focused on the characters but because it takes place with many people and a lot's happening it's definitely just shows the whole fleshed out story of what goes on when there's a school shooting and I thought that was really interesting. It was so horrifying to the point that I'm glad I'm not in high school anymore because it's such hard things to read about. It was gripping and tragic but I feel like all it has going for it is that plot because the writing wasn't noticeable. I don't know, for me to be impressed by writing it has to be really beautiful and really descriptive and this was just kind of- the characters again weren't brilliant. They just were kind of pieces in a puzzle and I feel like the characters had a lot more room to have development and backstories. It was hard to get into the book because the characters, there's four of them and I'm not a huge fan of multiple POV books. It was rather hard to understand in the beginning. All the characters sort of interconnect and figuring that out in the beginning was super complicated like the author could have just stated directly who's who and who is related to who and who has done stuff with who but it was just very twisted and didn't give you just like an explicit outline of things that were going on so for the first like 50 pages of this book it was super just discombobulated and didn't make any sort of sense structurally because the characters were all like you didn't know who the characters were but one good thing about the characters is that this book is hecka diverse the author said in her little author memo on the back that she's a strong believer in the we need diverse books movement so she has characters that are disabled, she has characters that are different races, she has characters that are different sexualities. That was very refreshing, very realistic for a high school and I applaud that. Since this book is so graphic I wouldn't recommend it for everyone but I do think it is an extremely important topic especially now that America has had so many shootings just this year like even the worldwide there's been so many tragedies that have occurred. I think it definitely is a good conversation starter. I just wish that since there are four perspectives of people in the book I'm just kind of upset that one of the perspectives wasn't the shooter. Like we don't really get to know what's going on inside his head. We get an outside perspective of what we think might be happening. I would much rather have the actual person themselves that is psychologically disturbed. I want to know what goes on inside a person's head to just grapple with that dark of a goal. I think it would have been really interesting to include that and it never did. I did read this in like less than 12 hours. It was really gripping. I read it in two sittings. I couldn't put it down. It was fast. It was I don't want to say enjoyable, but in the time I was reading it, I was glad that I was reading it. This is a book that I would recommend for new readers because it's just that fast paced and it's something that's a very interesting and dark subject matter. I feel like I haven't made sense for half this video because I'm just like, I'm straddling the line between praising a book about a school shooting and trying not to sound like I'm an enthusiast for school shootings. It's just a very different read and if you're looking for something different that's fast paced and will just grab your heart, this is definitely the book for that. I will link down below where you can buy this book. Once again, I gave it about three and a half stars. I think it definitely is worth the read though, especially because it is so fast. Let me know if you read this book. Let me know if you have the same thoughts. And until next time, thank you all so much for watching. I will be back with more reviews, more videos, more stuff coming soon. Goodbye.